What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Days You Should Know. In this episode, we will take a closer look at the events that took place on the 24th of May, 1996. Not many people are extreme skiers or extreme mountaineers, and even less are both at the same time. But that's exactly why we want to talk about Hans Kamalander, one of the few who mastered both of these sports. He was able to connect his passions. We're talking about the 24th of May, 1996. At this time, no mountaineer had ever climbed the peak of our world Mount Everest while carrying his skis with him. Kamalander achieved exactly that, completely on his own and without any supplemental oxygen. He wasn't just a pioneer though, he was also a record breaker as he reached the top in just 16 hours and 40 minutes. On May the 23rd, he reached the North Coal over Tibet. He arrived there around 8 p.m. After a break, he continued up the Northeast Ridge through the night until he reached a depot at 7,450 meters, where he took his second break before tackling the rest of the climb. He departed around 1.15 a.m. and on May the 24th at 9.40 a.m., he arrived at the top of the world in record time, being the fastest to ever climb the highest point on Earth. Every climber's dream, right? Not enough for Kamalando. He unbuckled his crampons and hopped right into his ski boots. The bad weather complicated the run, and since he had to take off his skis and climb a part of the way, it wasn't counted as the first downhill ski run from Mount Everest. Still, quite an impressive accomplishment if you ask me. Since that day, there have been several attempts to ski down Everest, but it remains an unperformed feat until this day. Kamalander's time also hasn't been beaten without supplemental oxygen. This climb was probably the most important moment of his career, as it made him world famous by the time he woke up again. Also good to know, he's still alive today. Maybe that's got to do with him quitting the climbing business to start his own businesses. And now a question for you guys. Would you climb a mountain? Or have you already climbed a mountain? Let us know in the comments below. That's all we have for this episode of Days You Should Know. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. We would be honored if you would join us. See you all for the next video.